Welcome back. It's a program that came out of the COVID-19 pandemic, helping families of loved ones with disabilities. But now this program is in danger of running out of money. Ben Winslow reports on the push to make it permanent for Utah families. My daughter has prader willi syndrome. Lisa Thornton stays home to care for her daughter, Kate. Someone has to be with her 24 hours a day. During the COVID-19 pandemic, no one could come help care for Kate because of the risk of the virus. That's when the state of Utah decided to offer some help to families like the Thorntons. The origins really are, um, with, are rooted in the pandemic. Caregiver compensation gives a small stipend to help families care for parents, siblings, and spouses with disabilities. The state is spending about $22 million to help all kinds of families. The average family gets about $2,300 a month. The state says right now, 442 families use it. We've had this program for a number of years available. We just haven't been using it. The idea actually came from the Utah legislature. They passed a law allowing spouses to get compensation. But it's been used in a way the bill's sponsor didn't intend. It has been used, I think, in a very, very good and appropriate manner. The Utah Division of Services for People with Disabilities says they've heard positive feedback from families who use it, but the money is running out. Our state is looking at the ability to continue this with the American Rescue Plan Act funding. The Utah Medicaid has submitted a request to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. Senator Harper says without that federal waiver, some could be cut off. Having just the continuity of care, me being able to be home and take care of her has been, it's made her happier, it's made her calmer. Nobody knows her better than I do. And so it's been a great opportunity. Lisa Thornton so says she wants the legislature to make this program this. permanent. These kids are so hard. We cannot do it alone. We need help and we don't want to put them in an institution. It would cost the state hundreds of thousands of dollars more to have Kate in an institution versus us keeping her at home. For now, Utah's Division of Services for People with Disabilities has extended the funding until the end of August, unless the feds come through with the waiver. Senator Harper says he will push legislation to make caregiver compensation more permanent in the 2022 session. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.